Hey there, YouTubers! Um, so if you've been following my channel for a while, meaning pretty much since its inception, uh, you would know that um, on... well, you wouldn't know the exact date, probably, you wouldn't remember that, but... So on January 16th, 2011, I published a video called Knee Flexibility and Wiggling My Toes. So I figured, man, it's been... geez, more than nine years, getting close to ten years since that video, and I thought maybe it would be a good idea to do an update. So I am doing that right now. Now, usually when I publish videos, uh, there's a delay in between when I record them and when I publish them, but you will be getting this video more than likely minutes after I get done recording it. Um, so there's going to be one slight difference between this video and the original video, and that's I'm going to talk about drop foot a little bit in this one. Um, and I'm going to talk about that first, even though it's going to be listed last in the title of the video. So, um, okay, so basically drop foot is, it's going to be a little difficult for me to show at this angle, but so you can't really, I mean, it's more, so if you can see, my heel is at a right angle with my leg right now. I mean, with the sole of my foot is at a right angle with my leg right now. Drop foot basically does that. It, it's, it's because I have extremely, extremely, extremely um, weak muscles and tendons and ligaments and all that stuff down here. So instead of my foot typically doing this, it typically does that. And the same thing happens with this one. It just essentially when it's down, it's down. When it's it just points in that direction no matter what. Um, so basically if this was my leg, my lower leg and my foot, um, instead of well instead of going like this, my foot does this all the time. Um, now that can be a problem, it can be a hindrance, but it also can be beneficial depending on the situation. So for me, it's actually um, <clears throat> a really good thing. Now, for many wheelchair users, if they have drop foot, it's bad because most wheelchair users, um, or I don't know about most, but many, let's say many wheelchair users, specifically spinal cord injury, um, patients, uh, they have spinal cord injuries later in life, so their body is mostly either full grown or mostly full grown, which means they have long legs, so when they have drop foot, what happens is, if you can see, even though I have drop foot, my, my feet don't hit the ground or the floor, but for people with longer legs, that their feet would hit the floor. Um, and I can put them up on the footrest like this, but it's much more comfortable for me to just go like this. So typically, I, I just do this. If I'm wearing shoes or if it's absolutely necessary, I will put them back in the footrest. But uh, for the most part, I prefer not to do that. So now... Um, That, that could be a hindrance. It's not for me, again, because I don't have long legs. Now, in the way it's beneficial for me is that it helps so much when I'm crawling around because I don't have to deal with this, my foot, right, getting in the way when I'm crawling because it's just always like this. And I'll try to give you a little example. We'll see if... Just try to adjust the camera a little bit, maybe. Um... Okay, so if you can see, now if my foot was like this all the time, when I tried to crawl, it would essentially be flopping back and forth and getting in the way. But because I have drop foot, um, severe drop foot, it, it doesn't do that. So I can crawl and it doesn't hinder me at all. Okay, 
So, getting to the other stuff. Now, let me adjust the camera again. And uh, so sometimes um, different doctors may want to correct drop foot because uh, it would, you know, for standing or in braces or whatever, for certain things it may be better to not have it. Certain things it may be better to have it. It just it really depends on the situation. Okay, anyway, so I I was watching my old video, knee flexibility and wiggling my toes, and I really think that my knees are actually even more flexible now than they were then. Again, that's close to 10 years ago. So I'm going to just give you the same spiel I gave you in that video, and that's I had surgery when I was... Um, after, I think it was between sophomore and junior year of high school, and that surgery was to, to essentially straighten my legs out so that I could be straighter when I was walking in with braces and crutches, uh, but <laughs> really didn't help that much. But what it did prevent me from doing is for the longest time, I couldn't bend my knee further than this. But now, as you can see, I've got most of the bend back. So from here, this is where it was after surgery, and this is what I can do now. Uh, now, before the surgery, I was able to bend my knee and have my heel touch the back of my leg. So I was able to bend it all the way, which meant that I was able to sit on my heels, which, quite frankly, I really enjoyed, and I do miss that. Uh, I can't do that anymore because of the the, the prevention of, of that. So... Here's the, the left one. Again, here's where it was after the surgery. And here's a, about where it is now. Right where it is now. I can't do it any more than that. Um, so that, that part of the video is quick. Um, now I will get to the toe wiggling. And then we'll be all done. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna... Now, the toe wiggling typically is better after I've just taken a hot bath or shower. Oh gosh, I forgot to move this stuff out of the way. See my trash can. Um, so... Here we go. We've got... Oh, right, hold on, I need to put... Auto focus on. There we go. So this one, as you can see, the right one has quite a bit of uh, toe. What am I going to call it? Wiggle, wiggle ability. <laughs> the left one. Not sure if you can see, but. Right there. Very slight. So on the right foot, it was more these toes, and on the left foot, it's more these toes. And, all right, I'll move the camera back up again. Um, so, um, that, the, I'm going to just say wiggle ability. I don't know what else, what else to call it. That's officially a new word now. Um, so my ability to wiggle my toes has changed over the years because after various surgeries, um, I lost the ability for a little while and then it came back. Maybe it didn't come as back as strong or maybe it came back stronger. It's just kind of a weird quirk of my body and of my injury, uh, the incomplete nature of my paraplegia. All right, so wrapping this video up, I do want to mention something. So if, again, if you've been following my channel for um, a while, you you sort of know what the usual description is for my videos. I have you know links for donation and links for my music, my books, and cryptocurrency stuff and whatnot. Um, but I've added to that now, and I'm um, I'm doing some um, product affiliation with Amazon and eBay. Um, 
these are products that I I've used that I stand by. So um, and I and I thought you know like for example the the video of me uh, styling my hair thought it would be really great to actually link to the product that I use for styling my hair uh, to make it that much easier. Okay, so thanks for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to descri describe. Don't forget to subscribe. Um, stay safe out there and bye bye.